experience for me in my life is the fact that uh, there are two pet cats who live in my household. And being a pet cat, of course, means ownership. In this case, these cats own me. They don't. I think the pet experience should be about everyone coming together in our industry for all of our sectors and having the same message. So we're promoting the same message to the pet, pet owners so then they can have a positive information overload of knowledge for their pet and they feel comfortable in their communities by having knowledge about veterinarians and retail, pet insurance, you know, animal care and control, etc. etc. And I think that's very important if, we, if we're all saying the same thing and then it's not confusing for pet owners and pet owners don't have to be scared of animal by law um, you know or being judged by animal rescue if they're not doing something or judged by the veterinarian if they're not taking it every year to the vet okay the pet experience hmm, the pet experience so first of all I think what is a pet and there's lots of ways to answer that question and then I think what is an experience and I think there's lots of ways to answer that question too uh, what I, what grounds me is that 50% of Canadian households have a pet within them and I know from my own personal experience and from the work that we've done to interview people who have pets and are involved in their care that those pets are, have a wider circle of influence. They're in people's lives, they're in their backyards, they're in the park, uh, they're in the neighbor's house when the, when the uh, owner's away or because the neighbor simply loves that animal too. And, and might not have the capacity to have a pet full time. So the pet experience is something that is actually really central to Canadian culture. there were more opportunities for dogs and people to mingle where they're supposed to mingle. Uh, I don't take my dogs running because they don't run well on the leash and I can't take them running off leash because there aren't big enough areas to do that. So um, that would be my goal for the pet industry. Okay. I think the pet experience oh, yeah, needs to be open to everybody. Right across the street I think we need more availability, especially uh, in terms of recreational opportunities that are free to society. So where are you going in Eastern I think if we expand it a lot more, we'll be able to make the pet experience for everyone more enjoyable and lifelong. I think for, for me, similar to a conversation we were just having a minute ago, to me the pet experience is really looking at all facets of it and, and all the stakeholders in it and trying to find things that, that score multiple wins across that experience. So, you know, what are things that we can do that are going to benefit me personally as a pet owner? What's going to benefit the veterinarian? What's going to benefit the business uh, corporations that are involved in pet welfare as well? Um, so to me, it's, it's really looking at all aspects and all facets of that pet experience and trying to find out uh, what we can do that, that really chalk up the most wins across that spectrum. The pet experience for me is that um, dogs have enriched my life, have brought me a great deal of joy, and as a breeder that's what I want to share with other people. My name's Lisa. My pet experience is I am not a good pet owner. I have a dog. He had a lump. He had a lump for six months. I didn't take him to the vet for six months. And I didn't take him because I was scared to find out. I was scared how much it would cost. I was just scared in general. I'm not a great pet owner, but I might be pretty normal. Hi, my name is Drew. And, uh... I'm uh, most of the time a bit of a failure as a pet owner. Um, bad things happen in my house. Uh, dogs get into trouble. Cats pee on things. And, and I think that as a professional in the industry, it's, um, 
perhaps refreshing to be able to pass that on to other pet owners, that it happens to all of us, and a pet experience is a sum total of all the experiences that we have. They're not always good. Uh, in fact, sometimes um, they're negative, but it's that net positive that we're searching for in the pet experience. And for me, professionals in our industry, people in the animal industry, um, need to work together and collaborate in order to create a net positive pet experience in our communities so that we can have a synergy with pets in our community. Hello. Hello. I feel that my pet experience is being a part of a community that is changing the mindset of the public from pets being owned to pets being guardian. My pet experience is probably summed up in the in the the euthanasia experience, like the idea that I can have this best friend, this family member that I love and protect, and can actually guide and steward that life and make sure there's no pain and suffering throughout its entire life. I mean, there are, there are very few um, things in our life our loved ones and our families that we can control to that extent um, and that's sort of like getting to execute on that promise is I don't know it's just it just makes me feel very blessed and and I know that that's weird probably to focus on the end of life as as a pet experience but every morning when I wake up with my cat Charlie and we snuggle I I just feel really blessed to be able to protect him. The pet experience for me is being able to own a pet um, because it brings such joy to my life um, but to also have access to services and resources when I need them and not feel like I have to judge or base my ownership experience on anything specific to finance or where I live or uh, my status in life. So just having the ability to have that kind of warmth and, and love unconditionally is, is the perfect pet experience for me. Hi, my name is Larry Evans and I'm here at uh... Summit 2013. I want to tell you about my first uh, pet experiences. My first dog, his name was King. He was a Cocker Spaniel. And uh, we, he was my loyalist buddy uh, in the world probably when I was 11 or 12. And uh, we conquered great things. We fought uh, some of the cowboy wars. We, we went into the jungle and hunted things and all of this in my mind, but I don't know, it must have been in King's mind as well because um, he was right there by my side and took his responsibility seriously. My mom was always worried to let me go across the road into the bush, but with uh, King she let that responsibility go. So my world opened up as soon as I had a dog named King. And my fondest memories of King are some of those times in my life when life was less complicated and the challenges I was facing were less complicated too. But I learned a lot of things from traveling with my dog. So King, thanks for that contribution in my life. For me, or when I consider pet experiences, I draw back from when I, my course of pet experience, which was with hamsters, and my hamster that I absolutely loved, and my sister and I, and that joy that it brought to our family, and the connection that we got, was uh, what my pet experience was, and I am thankful for that. Uh, I'm going to be working with uh, Tanya from the OSPCA, uh, and some of the other, uh, Louie, um, from PJAC uh, and a few other members to 
uh, collect some data on uh, what a pet experience means to consumers. So uh, we hope to kind of learn as much as we can there and have some more information for next year. It's, uh, it's important to be able to respond. It's, it's, it's important to know what consumers seek from a discussion like this. I mean, obviously we can sit up here and we can uh, kind of mull over these ideas and uh, come up with solutions to problems or, or you know, define terms for our needs. But I mean, ultimately we need to know what the consumers need, what they require from us. We, we need to respond, not necessarily shape something from our perspective. So the pet experience, I think that's really what's driven me to where I am today. Uh, growing up with animals is a big part of my life. I've always um, really enjoyed animals and so growing up I wanted to be a veterinarian so that I could really support my own experiences. I went to veterinary college, graduated from there, enjoyed supporting other people's experiences and really allowing myself to see how these relationships can be so powerful which what's drew me back to pursuing this as a career in terms of exploring the human-animal bond, how we support that bond to really allow people to have the best possible relationships that they can have with animals. Uh, recognizing that the pet experience is broad and there's the pet experience for those that have pets, those that don't have pets, and so it's about trying to create the best possible experience that we can for everyone.